friends, I want us to grieve more. I think we need to. And I don't mean burn up all your grief and anger. I don't mean veil it behind the funereal imperatives of gratitude and celebration. I don't mean steamroll over it with action. I don't mean lock it in the glove box after that Zoom therapy session you took from the passenger seat of your car. I want grief to be the main event. I want it to be loud and in public. I want us just to hurt if we're goddamn hurting. You know those tweets that circulate around like, I can't believe I'm living through the end of the world and I still have to answer emails? Yeah, I want better for us than that. Last July, in that summer of Instagram graphics and cruelty, I scrolled past voices choked out by cops, drowned out by lungs, and then, in one video, three or four people standing in the rain, screaming. Just goddamn hurt. There was a local progressive organizing group holding a 40-night ritual. People gathered at the entrance to the park at sunset, stood in a big circle to grieve together. And I found their videos very late in the 40-day process, but I knew that I wanted to join them. I went to Grand Army Plaza around 8 p.m. on a humid evening. The people around me, mostly white, grabbed signs out of the center of the circle that expressed mourning for black lives, for their complicity in white supremacy. We were each asked to think of something we were mourning, and then they blew a horn, and through masks, we screamed at the sky. My throat caught immediately, crackling out at the first blunt thrust of a scream. My vocal cords scratched and strained. It was an anguished, an animal wailing, until my breath caught under it and carried it turned the pain into a note. I sung my grief among a crowd, discordant and hurting, and it split me open. I broke into a sob behind my mask. How badly I had wanted to know that all of this pain we've carried was present and real. And I think we've all got this grief stored up. As much as folks may want things to go back to normal, it's still there, right? I cried over missing my family two times. The day I booked my first vaccine appointment, and the day I got back to the city after seeing them for the first time last June. Because getting to actually be with them hauled out of storage all the time we missed. So I want us to grieve more. We are holding on to so much and sending out little emails that somehow don't all start with the all cap subject line of IT'S STILL HURTING. But I don't want us to bear it alone. I don't want us to bear it quietly. So we're all here together. You and me and this many people so far have made a place where you can tell all of us what hurts, what you're grieving. And then together, we're gonna scream at the sky. Please submit your scream by Wednesday. We will use them together next week. I'll see you then. Bye.